Well, dozens of people from the Cincinnati area will be in D.C. and Philadelphia to see the Pope. WLWT News 5's Jennifer Schack spoke with local teachers ready to take the trip. More than 50 teachers and staff members from here at St. Ignatius will board a bus later this week, taking the prayers of the community with them. The teachers at St. Ignatius will celebrate Mass with Pope Francis in Philadelphia. As the trip draws closer, they've been involving the students in the excitement. You've probably heard of Flat Stanley, but what about Flat Francis? We're inviting the families to pray together and write their intentions on the back of Pope Francis, and then I'm going to collect all of these um, paper popes and take the, their intentions with me to Philadelphia. It's a chance to get everyone involved in what could be a defining spiritual moment for some. I am sure that this trip is going to be very emotional. Um, it means my faith is such a core of who I am um, that being in the same city with the Pope and just the, the sheer number of people who will be sharing that experience with us. Laura Seavey is the assistant principal at St. Ignatius. She helped plan the trip. It has been in the works for more than a year. The first step was securing a donor to help fund the trip. Then the entire staff at St. Ignatius were invited to participate. Well, I hope they bring back an excitement um, about their faith. Laura believes Pope Francis's words will be a great blessing for the staff, their students, and the community. I think they appreciate Pope Francis's message about being open to the differences of people and accepting everyone for who they are because that is what St. Eyes is all about. They plan to leave at 6 a.m. on Friday morning and return early on Monday morning. In Montford Heights, Jennifer Schack, WLWT News 5. In addition to the St. Ignatius community, 54 seminarians from Mount St. Mary's will be going to Washington, D.C. They will celebrate the canonization mass with Francis at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. They will be leaving tomorrow evening. And by the way, you can keep track of the Pope's visit and where he'll be every step of the way. We have all the latest updates for you on our WLWT News 5 mobile app.